to Agnes Water for six nights, and we've had six nights of rain. And six days of rain. That's so it. I had to leave Justine behind on the I, I asked him to leave me because I needed to stop and I needed to breathe. And really, I was just there for Riley because Riley needed me. So I had to stop keep stopping for Riley. I'm not going to have a run by tomorrow night. I'll be happy. Well, we have had some adventures this week. Yes, we have. Rainy ones. Mm -hmm. We're not used to rain, uh, are we? No, we're not. So we travelled for a year and a bit, and we had like three days of rain. Yeah, two or three days. Or um, and uh, we arrived at Agnes Water for six nights, and we've had six nights of rain. And six days of rain. <laughs> That's it. We arrived, <laughs> we arrived in the middle of a storm, and it really didn't stop raining. No, it didn't. It, it actually hasn't. We've had a few days where we've been able to sort of get out and go for a walk or go down to the shops or go grab some lunch, but it hasn't been the kind of day where you've been able to go and just sit on the beach for the full day and yeah. really take it all in. I think we did that one afternoon where it was still drizzly rain, but we still went down there because we sort of got to the point where we had done nothing except work on editing and photos and I've been cleaning out the caravan and sorting cupboards and stuff and we just needed to get out so yeah. we decided you know what we don't care anymore if it's raining we're just going to go out and just get rained on and when we arrived we came to a new campsite which we haven't been to before yeah and it's the 1770 eco camp so it was taken over by new managers around a year ago and they've really cleaned it out haven't they it's actually really cool so like we haven't been here but I mean, this is the point of why we're doing what we're doing is to go to places that we have not stayed, like go to areas we've been to, but no, go start going to all these different places. And um, we're not plugged in here on mains or anything. So water's been amazing because it's been raining and we've been catching our rain and we haven't had to fill up the tanks. I think if anything, we might have to empty, we'll have to empty, empty some tomorrow we because we've actually got so much water. Um, and our power, I think, is done really well. It's done pretty good. So considering the got, weather. Yeah, I mean we've had six days of, of rain and we we've made it. We've only got one more night to go. Yeah, so, so. we've been you know, like worst case scenario, you know, if we needed to be able to plug in and get, you know, power, we can just plug the car in, you know, if we're in the middle of nowhere. Places like this, you've probably got the opportunity where we can actually go and plug in if we needed to. Yeah. And I think it's just the options to we really pushed ourselves and I know that we we're trying all the appliances and we probably ran it down more than we actually yeah. would have done on a normal day. We just wanted to see where it all went because we were expecting the sun to come out the following day. So unfortunately the weather changed. So in hindsight, it's not how we wouldn't be using every single appliance in one day to drain the power to see how much it pulls. We would use the juicer mostly, I guess, the juicer and the Nutribullet. It's probably the two things that we would- the toaster. Would, no, no, the toaster we wouldn't have to run if we didn't have, if we didn't, we were yeah, low on true. power. But the two main things that we'd use would be the juicer and the Nutribullet because that's what we use the most is yeah. to make our smoothies and to make our juices. Yeah. Everything else can be run on gas. Um, and even here, there's a camp kitchen anyway. So if we wanted to get toast or anything, we just go, it's literally just behind us. So, yep. you know, you work around the weather and I think that we've done really, really well this week. And I guess in a way, it's been a little bit yuck because it has been raining. It would have been nice to have one full sunny day, but it's been good to actually just see how we survive. And I'm actually pleased that we weren't plugged into mains for a week of rain. Yeah, because, so, yeah. and we put together a video anyway of, of how we actually survived off the grid for six days. Yeah. We put that up you know, earlier on in the week, so I'll put the link up here for you so you can have a look at that. Um, but the 1770 Eco Camp has been a real find, hasn't it? It has. So we stayed here for 20 bucks a night. Which is um, pretty awesome. It's that a was, beautiful site. That was unpowered. Yeah. They do have some powered sites here. Um, no water though, just powered. And you can stay there for $25 a night. Yeah, Beam. and they've also got glamping tents, I think, yeah, they do. like little glamping tents. I yep. think it's in the video. Um, I think they start at about $75 a night. I think it's on the sign yep. coming in anyway. I think it might be in the video. Yeah. Uh, and they're really nice. They're tucked away. It's beautiful bush setting. And our site at the moment is like huge. You could fit easily two vans here if yeah. you wanted to. 
Um, so we wanted to stay down here because we wanted to be near the Billalong. So yeah, and this site that we are in, I don't know what I think it's twenty one C. Twenty one C um, is the best site for power when the sun's out. So that's why we were here. Yeah, that's true. Um, that's the best place for solar. Yeah, for solar. Yeah. So yeah. if you want to get yeah, for not for on power, um, getting in. I mean, there's a couple of little tight spots, but I mean, they said the other day they had a twenty. 23, 23 foot van get in here okay and we're not far behind it so with all the rain tomorrow morning's going to be fun it'll be fun we have got a little bit of a, a muddy incline to sort of get up and tuck away but it'll be a good test for the car and the caravan i think yeah so look with this eco camp so it's expanding and getting bigger and the new managers are really motivated to really make an amazing experience for anybody in the area to yeah. come along so um we went for a hike this morning, didn't we? Yeah, so there's a mountain sort of at the back of the campsites, and it is a mountain because it about, goes straight up. It goes straight up. And yeah. it's, it's everything's natural, by the way. That's why this is an eco resort. Yeah. Everything's left as natural as possible. Yeah. Um, and that's why we love it. It's just beautiful here. So I had to leave Justine behind on the walk. Because I she asked was... him to leave me because I needed to stop and I needed to breathe. Uh, really, I was just there for Riley because Riley <laughs> needed me. So I had to stop keep stopping for Riley. No, it was fine. <laughs> no, Riley was fine. I was struggling. But it is it is a it is a hard walk, but um, they will be bitumining a road, which will make it a bit easier for um, camper trailers and cars to get up. In the yeah. Future. So when you get up to the very top, um, the the trek we went up is just a walking track and a fire trail between the property of how, how big it is. So that's actually not the way you would be taking a. I think they can take up to I think it's 19 foot but nothing bigger at the very top section that they're actually refurbing everything up there. It's just, it's beautiful. Yeah, so when we were up there today, we met old mate, uh, the manager. Ernie, um, Ernie was Ernie, up there. Yeah. yeah, he's actually probably younger than me, but anyway, I know. we call him old mate. You just mate. call everyone old mate. Uh, anyway, he was up there <laughs> and he uh, told us what they were planning on up in that yeah. area, which is pretty impressive. Do you remember what it was? Um, I was know there? they're gonna have a, you weren't listening. I was. You just, that's why I'm there. No, he was saying that they're going to turn that whole top section. With, they've already started, by the way. They're, they're hoping to open it, aren't they, in the next few weeks? Yeah, so the campsites will be open. Bit? Yeah, Just campsites wondering. and the yeah, campsites and the amenities will be yeah. Open so the campsites and amenities should be opening. or they're hoping in the next few weeks. They're just waiting on a few things, like everyone is wet, who are building and doing things. Um, they're planning on putting a pool up there, like a natural spring pool at the top. Um, and I think, I'm pretty sure he said it's either going to be a 180 or 360 views at, at some point up there. They're going to put a huge decking out just off where they're going to base this, you know, beautiful natural pool. Um, and I think they're going to do like retreats and yoga, yoga retreats. Yeah. And I, I just, I just envisioned it when he was talking about it and I was getting really excited for him and thinking, wow, I can't wait to come back here and actually see it finished. It's been nice to see it as it yeah. is. And then when we come back again, we we won't be obviously be able to stay up the top because of our ring. We're too big, and we also have a dog. So one thing he did say that um, up there they want to really keep that as natural as possible up there, just for all the native animals up there. We actually there was three roos up there today when we had up, went up with the soca. Um, but when it's open, it will be no dogs in the top section, but the dogs will be allowed in this bottom section where we're camping at the moment. And I kind of agree with that. I think that it's nice to actually split it because you can still walk up there and look at this stunning view. Um, it's not like it's out of bounds, but the dogs won't be going up there. Like if you've got a dog animals, they won't be allowed up there. And I just, I agree with it because I do think that they need to keep that environment for the natural wildlife, all the animals up there and just sort of keep it as it is. Um, I don't know if there was anything else. No, look, it's all in the video anyway, I reckon. Yeah, I think that was it. So we didn't get a chance to really bring you everything that we wanted to bring you. We were hoping that we could get the stand-up paddle board out and go paddling right through 1770, but the weather was just pretty atrocious, really. Yeah, which is a bit of a bummer. Yeah. But you know what? It, it is what it is. Yeah. got to take the good with the bad and you can't always get out there. But I mean, yes, 1770 and Agnes Waters, it's a beautiful place to be, to come visit, even to stay and live. Yeah. Um, we love it here. We have been coming here for years and you got the beach and the river and I think that's what we love. Yeah. You literally can just come to this intersection, you go right or you go left. Yeah. Beach or river, where do you want to go today? We should have bought land here like five years ago. I know, we should have bought, we've, we've looked at it haven't we? Yeah. We have looked at land many, many times here and we are now kicking ourselves that yeah. we didn't end up buying land. So. 
Anyway, anyway that's okay. it is what it is. We weren't meant to be living in Agnes no, Waters. We're, we're just meant to keep being tourists traveling. and visiting it and, yeah. Having a life. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, look, sit back and enjoy the vid. Yeah. I think you'll enjoy it. I hope so. Yeah, and we'll catch up next week. And fingers crossed this rain, it goes away for next yeah. week. It's yeah. my birthday tomorrow. Oh, yeah. It's Justine's birthday tomorrow. Just thought I'd let everybody um, know. Yeah. I, I haven't actually... <laughs> Well, I got her a card. I said no presents. The boys yeah. are being running around mad. I said no presents. I don't want any presents. My <laughs> biggest gift tomorrow is going to be in the caravan. We're actually going to be traveling, but that's okay. We'll be together. <laughs> um, I, I just want to be able to just have a day where we can chill out. As long as I can yeah. have a run by tomorrow night, I'll be happy. Oh, yeah. well, we're meeting some friends where we're heading, so it's going Yeah, to be we're great. pretty excited about that. All right, guys. Well, we'll see you next week. Happy birthday for tomorrow. Thank you. I love you. <laughs> I'm getting old. <laughs> I love you too. All right. Catch you later. See you guys. Just stopped at our favorite little destination whenever we head north um, we're at apple tree creek just north of childers um we've been coming and stopping here for so many years today though yeah just because he's eating them all today there's this awesome lady i think her name was susan <laughs> stop it um and she does coffees and donuts or donuts and coffees i think it's called i can't remember um and it's just a little trailer just a portable trailer and we were so excited thinking we've never had food here we've always stopped and just made our sandwiches so today We've really treated good. ourselves. I don't know if Tim's left me any donuts. I have. How was your donut? It was so good. I just ate it in one go. And your hot chocolate. How was your donut, yeah. Saker? I'm still drinking it. Did, Did you, you have, have some donuts? No. Yeah. No, we don't feed her donuts. Okay, we're just kidding. Um, yeah, we got a chai as well. I mean, it's such a hot day. I don't know what we're thinking. We've all got a hot drink and some hot, freshly cooked donuts, but it's so worth it. They were really, really, really good. Anyway, while I'm enjoying my donut, Let's take a moment to admire our rig. We don't get to look at it very often like this, but it looks pretty awesome. We are so happy with it. that roof ad you know oh, the color bond roofing ad come out with the undies on and yeah. that's the look right there yeah. I have to admit we do it too anybody else out there that gets a brand new rig or a setup and they just stand there and they just look at it and they just smile we do that regularly I don't know if we'll ever get tired of doing it red lights for road work. I think we're still at the same amount of time as what we left as to how long we've got to go. Seventeen seventy and Agnes Water. What an awesome region. We've been here quite a few times before but we've never actually stayed here before. We're at the 1770 Eco Camp. So uh, let's show you around.
little things. The camp is actually getting bigger, so they're expanding up to the top of, I don't know what you'd call it, but it's like a mountain right at the very back of the camp. It takes about 15 minutes to walk up, but the view from up here is really incredible. But when you get up here, it is stunning because they're expanding up here. They've probably got about another, I don't know, 20 sites up here. I don't think there'll be any sites up here for big enough for caravans. Maybe a smaller one, maybe one under 20 foot you could probably get into. All unpowered, but wow. The view. Out of here because there's some weather closing in um, you could seriously stay up there all day it's just stunning but I could see quite a bit of rain coming in so I'm gonna get back down to camp but look this is the road heading down this is what I was saying it's um lots of loose rocks so be super careful on your way up and way down whoop see told you um, I better concentrate and get on with it yeah well I was right I often am um, but yeah here comes the rain It is nice though. Five minutes from our little bush camps and we're in paradise. We are, it's so nice. <laughs> I bush got, to beach. I got just seen by surprise. You didn't think I was gonna put the camera on. No, I didn't know what you were doing. But hang on, let's see where we are. <laughs> okay, so all, all the soaker wants to do is go in the water. But look at this. So hold me tight. So, uh, Agnes Water. Yes. Yep. Just down the road from where we're staying. Not a bad place to be. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. So, are you going to come in the water? Yeah, we well, I'm just enjoying sitting and enjoying the whole view right now. Yep. It's weird because we haven't really been beaching it, beaching it for a while. We're beaching it now to the end of the month. We've been on the ranch and then... That's true. We didn't really go to the beach to swim swim, did we? No. We were down at Harvey Bay. Well, make the most of it, mate. Oh, it's so nice. It's so relaxing. I love it. All right, Mr. Riley, are you ready? Mm-hmm. It's like putting war paint on. What do you mean? You're going into battle. No. I'm going to go face the ocean. Good job. Thanks. All right. Well, let's go. Did you win that? Oh. Every single day. Get in. Get in. Get in. Get in. Get in. It's 
sisters to me and you. has really been a bit of a bummer, hasn't it? Rain, rain and rain. Yep. We well, travelled for a year I and know. we had two days of rain in that whole year. We come down to the coast and we come up to Agnes in 1770 for a week to just get out there on the paddleboard and it's rained the whole well, time. I, yeah, that's the it. whole time. The we whole arrived time. in a storm. To, so we've been set up in the rain with such positive vibes going, it's okay, it's just a storm, it's going to pass. <laughs> It's still raining. It's still raining. So it's really limited us, hasn't it? Well, we've had plenty of water. That's true. We haven't had to fill up the tank since we well, arrived. That's true. That's so true. we've just had the rainwater, which has been handy. These are positive for you. That's true. So, but we're gonna, we are gonna brave, brave the weather. Oh, we're at the point where you know what? We don't care. It's just rain. We're going out to do stuff in the rain. Yeah. Well, so, it's our last day here today. It is. So. so we're gonna do the paper bark forest walk. Yes. Try to get the drone up. Yeah, if we can. There's actually a few people, looks like, here anyway. I think a lot of people have come to the same conclusion of, well, we're here, we've got to get it done, so we're doing it in the rain, because the rain's not leaving. So That's right. We'll cool. see how we go, I guess. What do you reckon, buddy? Yeah, I am excited. Well, let's go and do it, hey? Let's do it. We've left Soki in the caravan. She's yep. had a big feed. She went for a massive mountain climb this morning, so she's just tired. She wants to sleep. So, because she can't come here, um, we just decided this is probably the perfect time for us to come. So she'll just be snoozing in the caravan now. Yep. Rock wallabies um, are, are extinct. Is that what we well, saw? Well, not extinct, they're in, endangered. endangered. Did we see that this morning? Was that oh, one no, of the ones no. we saw? No, but we saw these at, remember, Canyon Gorge? Yeah, Canyon Gorge. Yep. That's right. They were on the rocks. And we'll feed yep. a pound. Yeah, that's right. Ready to go. I am. Stones, a lot of them. 